Hello there. Thanks for dropping by. In the last video, we added seams and trim details to the clothing top that we made for Daz Studio Genesis 8 Mail using a displacement map we created in ZBrush. However, in this video, we will look at how those details can be added by editing the clothing base mesh using ZBrush. Let's get started. <music> I have once again preloaded the Genesis 8 male development version and the clothing top we created in DAS Studio. Select the clothing top. This time, we will export only the clothing top to ZBrush using GoZ. Load the mesh onto the canvas and click on the edit button. Use the frame button to fit the top to the view. Turn on draw polyframe. Use Auto Group with UV to load the polygroups. I prefer to work with the back face of the mesh visible. We can do that by turning on the double option. We will mask the border using the Mask by Feature function with only the border option selected. Our next step will be to expand the masked area with the Grow Mask option. Using the Grouped Mask function, we will create a new polygroup out of the mask. Click and drag on the empty area to clear the mask. Next, locate panel loop under the geometry panel. Set the loops to 1. Turn off double. Set the thickness to 0.0015. Set bevel to 100. And polish to 0. Then click on the panel loop button. The seams are created based on the polygroups but we still need to do some touch-up on the seams. Let's zoom in for a closer look. Notice the seams created are right-angle inserts. I will want to change them to simple bevels. But before that, let's extrude the trims so that they will be slightly thicker than the rest of the clothing. Notice the polygroup trims at the cuffs. The collar and the bottom of the shirt are all having the same color because they were grouped in the same polygroup when they were created using the group mask function. Therefore, we will be able to extrude all of them at the same time. Select the Z Modeler brush. Hover your mouse over one of the polygon faces of the collar. Click on the space bar and the Polygon Actions panel will appear. Select Polygroup All. Hover over one of the polygon faces again. Click and drag. This will extrude all the faces under the same polygroup. This looks okay. Notice the trim area at the cuff and the bottom of the shirt are also modified. We will now edit the edges. Hover the mouse over one of the edges we want to remove. While holding the Alt key, click on the edge. This will remove the entire edge loop. Repeat this step to remove all the unwanted edge loops that form the right angle inserts. Use the X key to activate the symmetry function so that we can edit both sides at the same time. Make sure that we are keeping the original edge loops between the groups. Let's click on the Polygroups button and flatten the mesh to look at the UV of the mesh. The UV map we created before will no longer work since new polygons were created during the extrusion of the groups. The new polygons are mostly overlapped at the edges of the existing UVs. We will need to regroup them manually. Select the Mask Lasso tool. Mask out the area of the polygon we want to regroup under the same polygroup. We have selected an unwanted area because we have forgotten to deactivate the symmetry function. Clear the mask and deactivate the symmetry function by clicking the X key again. With the polygon masked out, click on Group Mask to regroup them. Repeat that for the rest of the groups. Control click on the polygroup to hide the completed groups and leave the ungrouped polygons. 
Click Group Visible this time to group remaining polygroup. Unflatten the mesh and click on Auto Group with UV again to load the new groups onto the mesh. Note that, by grouping manually this way, the trims will have their own polygroups. We will now unwrap the mesh to create a new UV map. Click Flatten to check the new UVs. Notice one of the trims is not properly grouped. Let's fix that. Unflatten the mesh again, while holding the Control and Shift keys. Click and hide the main polygroup except the trims. Click Auto Group to regroup the trims. Control Shift click to unhide the polygroups. Click Unwrap and Flatten again to check the new UV. Click on the Move icon next to the Draw button. Control click on the polygroup you want to move. Rearrange the UV layout as you wish using the gizmo. Click the draw button after you're done with the layout. Unflatten the mesh. Don't forget to flip the UV as explained in part 2 of the Creating Clothing for Daz Studio video. We can now export the edited mesh to Daz Studio with GoZ. Leave the convert to subdivision surface checked and click Accept. We can delete the clothing base mesh since we no longer need it. Check out our newly edited mesh by choosing the shaded smooth view. Let's rig the new mesh to fit Genesis 8 Mail using the transfer utility. Choose Genesis 8 Mail as the source and clothing mesh as the target with full body selected as the template. Add the smooth modifier and choose the appropriate content type from the drop down list. Click Accept. The mesh will be reset to base resolution. Do not worry. Simply set the resolution level back to high resolution under the Mesh Resolution option. Let's give the top a color. As mentioned in Part 3 of the Creating Clothing for Daz Studio video, the newly imported mesh from ZBrush comes with no surface group and the surface properties of 3 Delight. We will not fix that here, but you may check out more details on how to do that in the video Creating Clothing for Daz Studio Part 3. We will select matte under the lighting model for now. Let's load a pose onto the figure and do a quick render to have a look at the result. Notice there is a bit of poke through at the elbow. Let's fix that. We will go to the Mesh Smoothing option and set the value of the smoothing iterations to 3. No more poke through. Click Render Now. I think the seam and trim turned out quite nicely and I hope you do as well. We have reached the end of our video once again. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel. That will be a great help to me. See you again in my next video.